What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate. Reverse rant, no hate. So, Sebastian Fundora, Tim Zhu. This fight completely went off course and didn't go according to the way people thought it would. Now, take the cut from the elbow away, and more than likely, Tim Zhu mops the floor with Sebastian Fundora. Because with the cut, okay, he bust his mouth and his nose open and damaged his face so bad that Sebastian Fundora has a six-month suspension due to his facial damage. Okay, now, for Tim Zhu, let's look at this. Tim Zhu got cut, I think, the third round, and it was like right up here. So the blood flow, especially as you sweat and, and the fight goes on, it was it was like uh, there was no stopping that because even in the corner it doesn't matter. You can you can put pressure on it. You can you know, you know try to soak it up as much as you can. But once he gets out, he starts moving and he, it, it's 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 gonna bother him. And it did, you know, he was blood in his eyes, constantly trying to you know that he fought that way, okay. And basically, Sebastian Fundora. He got the decision win, and he now holds that title. Now, when you look at it from this perspective, he trained to fight Keith Thurman. And stylistically, it wasn't a problem for him. It was the cut. It was the cut. Um, and which, by the way, was accidental. I, I, you know, Jim Lampley said that he didn't like the fact that, you know, Sebastian Fundora elbowed him on top of the head. He even did the hand gesture and everything. And no, that's not what happened. Sebastian Fundora leaned in like this, and him being so tall, when Tim Zhu lunges forward like he did to come in, his head, his head went into Fundora's elbow. So that's what caused it. He did not elbow him in the head. That's false. He did not elbow him in the head. He ran into an elbow. Okay. Now, that being said, for Tim Zhu, he has a storyline now for whoever his next opponent will be. I don't think it will be Keith Thurman because even if Keith Thurman's healed, there's no title on the line. And, and that's really, you know, for Keith Thurman, it has to be something more than just another fight at this stage in his career, basically. So I don't see it being Keith Thurman. Now, Fandora is possibly fighting Errol Spence next. So that being said, if that's a fight that actually happens, well, Fandora can't fight again until September, I think. So when you look at it, the sucky thing about it for Tim Zhu is that Sebastian Fundora won't be ready for a fight anytime soon. And I believe Tim, for this to heal up, he wants to get back in and, you know. Now, does he take a risky fight and risk being beaten and losing his spot? Or does he take a lighter fight? You know, because here you are, champion, Lost your title on your very first defense, and it was just a freak accident. That's all. Um, you know, Fundora, Fundora, Fundora is is um. He's a tall, lanky guy, and you know, in terms of elite level, no, he's not that. Tim Zhu is not an elite level fighter. He he is he put it like this. He's an action fighter. I don't consider Tim Zhu an elite fighter. I consider him an action fighter. Because he does have holes in his game. He's, he's, he's exciting to watch in the sense of being in like a tough fight. Boxing fundamentals and boxing skills, no. He's not impressive in that way. He's impressive with his pressure, his punching power, and the fact that he comes to fight. This is why a lot of times when people are, ah, because of two guys in the end of Slugfest. And I'm not feeling that way because of the lack of ring IQ, the lack of skill and ability. Okay, so... At the end of the day, somebody may wind up calling uh, Tim Zhu out to see if he's willing to, you know, jump in there and, uh, 
you don't make a fight happen. Because everybody wants to take somebody's spot at some point. So look, let me let me let me just say things are always gonna happen. You don't know how things are gonna happen. It's like you watch Holyfield Bow too. You didn't expect some guy to come parachuting into the ring, right? But things happen. Um and then people, oh, well, Holyfield only won because of the parachuter. Okay, well, you, you saying it, it hurt Bo, but it, but it helped Holyfield? Yeah, because Bo's wife passed out, and you know, his mom wasn't on the fight no more. He couldn't fuck her. I mean, all right, whatever. Um, but, you know, things happen. And um point is, Fundora was a replacement. I don't think anybody in their right mind really thought Fundora was going to go in there like just you know, pick dude apart, just outbox him and win the fight or outfight him and we know. But hey, he did what he did. You know, the cut opened up, the blood was constantly in his face. And that was just definitely an uphill battle for Tim, but he went in there and stayed with it. He fought. So you got a guy got him get it. give him the credit for being having the heart to go in there and go to war like he did. Because a lot of fighters would have quit. A lot of people, you know, they thought like a lot of people was thinking that, you know, the doctor should have stopped it. And if the doctor didn't stop it, he should have. They should have threw the towel in because that cut was nasty. And hey, you know what? They didn't do that. So what happened happened. So for Tim Zhu, he has a storyline because whoever he fights is like, listen, you guys saw what happened. I was beat due to a cut. You know, I couldn't see. I had blood in my face. I had blood in my eyes. I, you know, things happened. And um, a lot of people will support him on that. A lot of people feel the same way. Like, yeah, Sebastian Fundora just had a situation that worked out for the better for him. But other than that, you know, nobody really saw him as far as him going to just beating Tim Zhu. And um, for Tim Zhu, whatever he decides to do, you know, hey, that's up to him and his team. But, um, yeah, he, he would have to wait for Fundora. Spence would have to wait for Fundora. You know, so it's the type of thing where Spence got his ass whooped by Crawford. Who knows? Maybe they'll try to say, okay, how about this? Since Fundora's sitting sitting on the shelf right now because, you know, um, his, his facial damage, why don't we make um, Spence versus Tim Zhu? And I don't think Spence wants that fight because he wanted the winner. So once again, boxing is in the position of people, you know, picking and choosing instead of saying, hey, let me fight my way back. And this is what people understand. Boxers try to be strategic with handpicking certain fighters, but at the same time, this is what you get paid big money for. This is what you signed up for. This is what you chose to do is for a living. So, yeah, putting your undefeated streak on the line, putting your, you know, position to I'm, I'm mandatory or I'm, you know, I'm the number one contender or whatever. And then you, you, you know, that's what a lot of fighters do. They'll take an easier fight just to avoid that. But you can always have that banana peel fight. Um... You know, but yeah, man, I, I I credit dude, and I also credit Fandora because his he, his face got fucked up. But it's like this is what, hey, this is the hurt business, man. This is what happens. This this is what happens. So, I think that um, Tim Zhu should be okay. Um, it's just a matter of who's next for him because, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he wants that fight with with Fandora. He wants that rematch with Fandora. You know, um, there's another fighter. I forget the name. It's not really important, though. That they were saying they 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 want that rematch with uh with uh Tim Zhu, but Tim Zhu might just wait it out and say the hell with it. I'm just going to train and just keep giving this more time to heal completely, and then me and Fandora do it again. Um. And it only works against, well, it's only, it's a sucky situation if Tim doesn't want to wait. But if you don't want to wait, and, you know, his team should be, you know, talking to Fundora's team to find out, hey, listen, let's do it again. Um, the last time my guy was in the ring was against your guy. So we need to set a deadline um, because we know that you can't fight until September, right? So when you're cleared, whenever you're ready to jump back in the ring, Let's set a date. So it's 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 the rematch. You know, and, and you know, try to secure that because the truth of the matter is he can go out there and, and, and fight another tough fight, or fight a tough fight. And he might wind up losing. 
somebody's going to take that belt from um, Fandora because Fandora is, you know, he he's, eh, you know. Um, but he's considered a top-level guy by a lot of people. Now, top-level and elite are not always the same things. You know, like I saw, example, Josh Taylor. Um, I saw him as a good fighter at 140. <clears throat> and Josh Taylor, you know, he comes to fight. We saw Catterall, Jack Catterall got robbed against him. Um, and I said I would keep Adrian Broner far away from him because, you know, the Duke, he does have skill. But he's not elite. He's top level at 140. Regis Prograde is top level at 140. But he's not elite. Do you understand? So when you say elite, it's not like, oh, everybody, no. No, it's, it's, it's not a category you put just anybody in. You understand what I mean? So sometimes we may say elite level, top level, but no, I, it, it's a difference. And um, no, these guys are not elite level fighters. Okay. That's why they fight guys that's supposed to be on the same level as them. And you see like, no, it's not even close. And when you're fighting much smaller guys that's come up to fight you and you get dominated like that then no no they're not elite level guys so when you look at um like fundora there's several guys that will beat fundora you know in fact um a guy that beat him fought on the undercard you know and he lost but that same guy also fought against um tim zoo you understand what i mean so my thing look look people it's like things are gonna happen we can't look at what if what if but just to say, what if that cut never happened? Like I said, if it's not for the cut, in my opinion, Tim Zhu wiped the floor of front door. Look at the damage he did to him with blood all in his eyes. Okay? So, um, bottom line, and, lose, and losing that amount of blood, still fighting at that pace throughout, you know. So, it, it, it's, it's, you know, things happen. And you can't cry with spilled milk. It's, it, it, it sucks, but it's like, hey, I got to go to the next one. I got to move on. So, either, like I said, either... Tim Zhu waits for Fundora, or he fights somebody else and then come back to Fundora should he be victorious. So I don't know, but um that that was a sucky situation. And um I know people are throwing Terrence Crawford name into it, but I don't think Tim Zhu, after losing like that, and like the fact that his title, you know, he lost his title. I don't think that he really would want to have to focus on fighting a guy like Terrence Crawford then go back to a Sebastian Fandora type fight. Um, I don't think Tim Zhu beats Terrence Crawford, um, for one. And the only way I see him beating Crawford, he has to knock Crawford out. You know, <clears throat> not that that's impossible, but, I mean, that's the only way I see him beating Crawford. But bottom line is... Um, his focus, I, I I think he wants that belt back. And if he has to wait for Fundora, I believe he will. And then we'll be getting a rematch between those two. That's what I really think is going to happen. But we'll see. So I know people, like I said, people already start talking about, um, you know, Crawford. And they, you know, do Jamel's name. And it's like, all right, one fight at a time. And I do not believe that Tim Zhu is going to walk away from his title, from his ex-title. So I believe he wants that belt back. Now, should he secure it? You know, now who he fights next, then that's now now we can start talking different names. And um, since Keith Thurman had the injury, once again, he's out again. So what does Keith Thurman do? You know, what what does he do? Because he doesn't want to fight anybody that doesn't have a title. And without a belt, he has no reason to want to fight Tim Zoo. That's that's just the way it is with him, you know. So that being said, it looks like Keith Thurman will be out for another long period of time, unless he changes his mind to stay busy and fight somebody. But again, who? Cool. You know, it all makes a difference to these guys. It makes a difference to the fans. It makes a difference to everybody. You know, different. You know, all parties involved. So it's it's, but it's not about hand picking guys. Because I can look good against that guy, or this guy doesn't punch that hard, or whatever it may be. But just say, 
I think it was a sucky situation for Tim Zoo, man, you know, and, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, it was just a sucky situation for him in that sense, but, you know, Fundora came to do what he had to do, so, what y'all think, what y'all think the next move for Tim Zoo will be, do y'all think he waits for Fundora, or do you think he risk it and go fight another tough fighter and possibly lose, maybe win? You know, do you guys think that Fundora will be fighting against Errol Spence? And if that fight happens, Spence will be the favorite to win. Now, we don't know how much damage Spence took against Crawford. Like, well, does, does he look like the same fighter or even, you know, close to it? We don't know. And we'll just have to see. So, anyway, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people when I would catch y'all on the next video.